welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my early rise morning routine. And although I would love to do this every single morning, sometimes I let myself sleep in, but the days where I do this, I feel honestly so refreshed and it gives me a few hours in the morning just by myself and then also my husband gets up before our children even get up. So this really gives me some time to A, just have quiet time and think and also get a few things done before the kids get up. Especially at this point in my life, this is such a special treat and I just think there is so much magic early in the mornings and I truly love it, so I try to do it as often as I can. The deeper we transition into summer, the earlier I have to rise to catch the sunrise, which I absolutely love. So this morning I got up at around 5.25, but the sun was already starting to come up. Earlier in the summer when I would wake up at this time, it would be completely dark and then within about 10 to 15 minutes, I could get my coffee and then go watch the sunrise. I don't drink coffee every morning, but definitely the early rise mornings, I do love a cup of coffee. I love that the animals wake up when I wake up. And so when we wake up early, they usually stick pretty close by. I make sure that they're fed and that they have water. And then I take my coffee and go outside and I try to sit down on my rocking chair and read and pray. Occasionally, I will share snippets of my mornings on Instagram, and I'm often asked about the translation of the Bible that I read. So this is a CSB translation, and it's She Reads Truth Study Bible. I haven't always been consistent with reading my Bible every day, and even now, you know, it's a struggle to wake up early and get this time in. This year, I really made the commitment to read through the Bible, so I'm reading through the Old and New Testament simultaneously. Um, I got these great highlighters from Amazon, and there's just so much that really resonated and applied to me personally and to my own life, and I think there's something very powerful about reading it yourself. and. So, um, yeah, I mean, there have been times where I have questioned my faith and I, I, I'm definitely not a, a perfect person, but I do find strength in what I read. It was in the early mornings when I had that time to think, when everything wasn't so busy. I was definitely craving something deeper. I wanted to develop my character and I just started to ask and reflect and pray and read and kind of take inventory on what really mattered to me versus what I feel like I've been sold for a long time through media and through just the world and what the world tells you your career needs to look like, what your lifestyle needs to look like. And really, it's in those quiet moments in nature. I really started to reflect on what truly matters to me. And it's invaluable, those moments in the morning with God Maybe some of you can relate to feeling distant from God or maybe not even believing in God at all. But I, I just, I believe and that belief gives me hope. Honestly, money couldn't buy what that does for my soul. for a walk and spend time in the garden, I usually come in and just start to get myself ready for my kids to wake up. 
At this point, I can usually get through this and they haven't woken up yet. Um, usually they wake up between 7, 7.30 and 8. So um, I, it gives me a chance to just kind of get as much as I can get done before they wake up. So I'm taking my hair out of braids from the night before. I took a shower and put my hair in braids. That just makes it pretty easy for me come the next day because I can just take those braids out and my hair is pretty much ready to go. I'm just chilling in flannel. I am. A, it is a little chilly in the morning, so I usually start with layers and then slowly start to peel them off after I go for my walk. So I have these First Aid Beauty they're, they're pads, they're like brightening pads. So I'm just gonna use this first and foremost on my skin. And then I'm gonna put a Ola Hendrickson vitamin C brightening, uh, it's like a serum. I'm gonna put that on next. So just stick with the brightening in the summer, which is what I like to do. And uh, keep it really simple in the morning, just brush my teeth and either wash my face or use the pads. Then I apply a light moisturizer or a light serum. So I'm gonna use the Ola Hendrickson one. And then I, um, I'm gonna put a little eye cream on. I have an eye cream from Fresh um, that I have just kinda, that I've had. And so I kinda wanna finish that off. I go back and forth between products as I've shared before on my channel. But everything's starting to get more and more minimal just because I, my routine is simplified to just a serum and an eye cream. And, and then I'll put a little tiny bit of mascara on just to kind of open up my eyes. And then if I have, I'm coming off of a breakout, a hormonal breakout, I like to use a Neutrogena concealer pen that also has salicylic acid in it. And I'll usually use that to cover up any red marks or you know any breakouts on my chin. So that usually once a month, I kind of struggle with that around my chin area. So I use that and it helps a lot. So I'm just kind of pulling out my two little makeup items that I use. At this point, my husband has woken up and I was kind of chatting with him a little bit uh, while I was getting ready in the bathroom. I'm gonna tidy and put away some of the clothes I left out from the night before and then also fix the bed. I don't wake up this early every single morning. Some days I really feel like my body just needs the extra sleep and I wake up when my kids wake up. But of course, getting that head start, getting that, you know, my head in the right space, start my routine on the right foot is always ideal, but it doesn't happen every single day. And I don't even fix my bed every single day. <laughs> but when I do wake up this early, I do seem to flow into my routine so much smoother. So I'm fixing the bed. And then I just kind of go around the house and start any chores that I want to get done. Um, I'm always doing chores throughout the day. Um, and I just finished, we're in summer right now, but because of COVID, my kids were in school, but now I'm doing homeschooling. And so I'll share a video on that soon. We're doing a little bit of summer schooling, but I'm also letting them just kind of have lots of playtime and a little bit of freedom and not as strict of a schedule as we were during the school year, but we're also most likely gonna be homeschooling come fall just because of everything going on. So I have been really trying to wrap my head around all that and I will share more in the future. Um, but yeah, then we just went outside. We were letting the chickens free range. They were pecking at the ground, getting some worms. And I was just chit chatting with Byron about some stuff in the garden and in the yard. And then I, the kids still were not awake. So I went back inside and did a few more chores and I actually got a little workout in. I popped on to my Pilates machine and just was doing some really simple, just kind of warming my body up in the morning, nothing crazy. I obviously went for the walk. I walked up that, that really steep hill a few times and that really always gets my, um, heart rate going and then I love to just do some simple workouts on this Pilates machine. You can really, there's a lot you can do but I didn't do a full-fledged workout today. I just kind of warmed up my legs and did a few things. Um, I love this machine. I use it a lot and I have the accessories and everything so if I have time I try to pop on here or I'll 
pop onto YouTube and find um, a Pilates reformer, like 20 or 30 minute workout and try to do that. So got to squeeze that in before the kids woke up. And then last but not least, I popped into the kitchen just to clean up whatever was left over from yesterday and get the kitchen cleaned up before the day officially started when my two boys woke up. So that is my early rise morning routine, which I love in terms of, I know I use the word self-care on this channel and we hear that a lot. In terms of self-care, this routine for me uh, is just invaluable when I get a chance to do it. And so I thought I would share it with you guys and I hope you enjoyed. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe. You can come say hi to me on Instagram and follow me over there for more content. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.